G'day, my name's Wilfred West from Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Welcome to Locksport, the home of online gaming, wonderful views and Australian wildlife. I do hope you like these videos, if so please subscribe. Welcome back everyone, how are you all going? Now, um reason why we're here today is I'm going to have to take the super off the flow hive because the weather hasn't been all that good and we discovered a couple of days ago we had um, what's it called chalkboard or chalk brood I think it's called um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the super and if they haven't put had done too much to it I've done nothing to it I'm going to take that off and put that um, aside and just have a quick look at the ideal then put the lid back on the ideal now I sent I made a really quick video of the other day and sent it to Luke who are the gentleman who I bought the, the bees off and he said the best solution for that that the bees are doing the job getting the chalk um, brood I think it's called a board I'm not quite sure the exact naming of it um, out of the hive and they were doing the job doing that we'll have a quick look at that as well um, and oh, smoke smoking and um, we'll have a quick look at that as well um, and he said well the best solution was to take that off because there's too much room for them and it was too cold so we're gonna pretty much um, have a look at it um, and we'll go from there so I'm gonna put a little bit smoke around it and then I'll open this up first of all but I want these to go into the um, into here itself I don't think that one's really got any on top, I want them to go off. Not off. Not off. Thank you. I shouldn't have it warm, but because when I checked it yesterday, um, they didn't have any um, <coughs> anything there. A little spider there. And here we go. You don't want them. Ah, you yeah, yeah. oh, that's going to annoy the bees. And why that? All the water. Now, give that a minute. Take that off. So they haven't even sealed this on yet. And a cockroach on there. Now you're definitely not welcome here. No. Yeah, it's too early for this to go on now. Way too early. That was the mat. Just sort of like sit in one spot for me and sort of slide every bloody way. Excuse the language. Uh, hope you didn't hear that. Uh, not easy trying to figure out where I can put stuff. Let you sit there. Trying to get this done smoothly. That I'm not going to worry about. I've got a good bit of room for this. Now what I want to do is have a quick look in these. Don't think there's anything at all in any of these. 
No, they haven't even started work on these yet. So this top box will go straight into the um, into the garage. I'll put these away. Now let's see if I need to if they wax that up or not. Start, no, they haven't waxed that up even. So what I'll do here is try to find a way I can lift this up one handed and sort of spray. Not the carriage can come up though. get this done as quick as possible without disturbing the bees too much. Um, I did have one bee yesterday in the top here, but that was it. Now if I have for these bees, <laughs> which I wouldn't mind them calling in this, but I'll have to encourage them not to be there. Until I'm ready for you. So, here's a test. We'll have a look, see if they're doing anything to these at all. doing anything so far. Itself. So, as Luke said, probably too much <coughs> room. <coughs> Oops. Oh. oh, I'm going to move the smoke right away. said probably too much room for the bees to cope with so I'm not gonna worry about opening the bottom up um, so I'm gonna put this back on so the bees aren't too disturbed and hope they um, start to work on this and I'm not gonna worry about looking at this for about a week I'll do a quick examination on the outside again but that's about it I'll put the roof back on. Actually, I might put that. Actually, I might put that on there as well. I'll put this on and that on, just in case there's any hybrids up here.
trouble putting that lid on this way than I do it the other one. That's okay because that's part of Someone. No. Oh. Fuck's sake. Excuse the language. I'm not very good at doing this. For some strange reason, it's easy to put it on the other part there and it's to put on this one, on the super. On the side, the ideal, I mean. It's easier to put on the super than the ideal. That's probably the best one I'm gonna get, I think. No gap there? No. Well, there's no gap there. It's really not gonna bother tightening that up unless we get a really strong wind. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, have a quick look at this. castings again and they just look like normal castings yeah so we'll give that a rinse um, we'll get this bee off, flip this bee off too we'll go give it a rinse and we'll put it back um, we'll be back in a minute Well, it looks like the looks like it was only um, what do you call it? Uh, just castings. There's no chalk brood into there, or chalkboard or chalk brood, how you call it. But um, we're going to reduce that down as before. Now we've done that. We're going to leave the go for a week. See if they're starting to do anything in the top section in about a week's time. Um, well, technically this is day 17. Looking at the beehive, but I'm bit disappointed about myself putting that, I put that on too early, so I'm going to have to just, yeah, you know, bite the bullet, take a step backwards so we can go forwards again. Um, hope the bees aren't going to stay too long around here, um, so I'll get this done. Um, I 
that's had a good clean. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and move all this stuff out the way and then I'll get the camera and I'll have a quick look at the entrance from the other side and we'll put it together. I'm a bit disappointed we I didn't start to fill up that and fill up this but I'm not complaining. I'm happy the bees are happy. They're buzzing away nicely. They're not, they're not aggro as you can see after you me coming here um, and I'm hoping it's going to help with the chalk brood problem and also help them so they don't get um, too annoyed uh, like don't have to have too much space to deal with even though we're going to get 36 degree days in a couple of days um, that's beside the point what's that stuff on top of that frame ah, whatever it was no down there but anyway um, I'll quickly stop this video move the camera out the way so I can get everything else out the way um, but thank you again for Luke for telling me how to handle the, oh, gave me this little suggestion and telling me how to handle the problem. Um, uh, I started reading for all the information about this, um, the chalkboard, but there's so much information that was there. But then I started looking at some YouTube videos as well afterwards and after reading what Luke suggested and looking at some of the YouTube videos, I'm going to get the easiest solution is to take this off because there's too much room for the bees. They haven't got a strong enough colony yet to deal with the um, super yet, so I'm going to have to let them deal with the ideal. Hope they can build that up strong enough colony to do so with the ideal, and they can then be happy there and fill that up with them, um, start filling that up. When that gets really buzzing with bees in the ideal, and it's and they're filling the ideal up, then I'll put the super on. But I'll check it once a week. I'll do my outside inspections and do my usual inspections of it. Um, can't open the window anymore because <laughs> that's the only one that has a window. Um, but I'll just do me the, the pest control inspections. Also check the bottom the bottom tray, check how the bees are going in and out, looking at the hive itself on the outside. And that's all I can do. In a week's time, I'll have a quick look at that. Um, and then I will go from there. And every each week we'll have a quick look at the top tool they actually start building up in the ideal. Anyway, so we'll be back and have a quick look at the hive entrance in a minute once we pack all this stuff up. Welcome back. Now you can tell, a little hazy. I've got my hood off at the moment as well. So I can actually see what I'm doing, <laughs> recording. Um, I've been to the front, not going to disturb them anymore. We just want to have a look at the entrance. See how the bees are going in and out. And see if we can get a nice close up of the entrance if we can. Let's see if we can catch anything of interest. They seem to be doing the job. As I said before, there's no chalk brood into there. And a big thank you out to Luke again for helping me out and advising me what to do. The bees were taking care of the chalk brood, which is good. And there was none in yesterday and there was none in today. So I'm hoping the ideal's big enough. It's not too big for them to start putting honey into it. And we'll, get, we'll, we'll find down in a couple of days. A week or two, and I'm, there's not much around at the moment either for them. But as you can tell, when I, was, I, I pulled the top off, it didn't bother them too much. It actually, didn't bother them at all. Even one flew on my hand and didn't even bother, bother it. Didn't sting me, nothing. I still gotta learn how to use that smoker better. But they seem to be okay. Um. And they're buzzing away and they're doing the thing. Hope they find a decent amount of um, pollen in that. A pollen nectar, whatever they call it. Yeah. But oh well, we'll let them do their thing. As I said before, not a bad day. It's a bit hazy and um, have a quick look at the lake and then. I'm going to go shoot it off and do other things. I'll take this speed suit off 
and we'll go have a look at the lake and stuff like that. And I should not pack that other stuff up into the boxes that came with. Oh well, you all take it easy everyone, and have a great day. I'm um, happy it's not too windy for me to do all this. Um, thank you again for watching my videos, and yeah, you all have a great day everyone.